Good morning, YouTube. My name is Tyler. I am a first year medical student at The Ohio State University. I will be taking you through a day in my life. Hi, guys. My name is Nibby. I'm a second year medical student here at Ohio State. Really excited to take you through my whole day today. I have a really busy schedule. It's honestly my busiest day. We just started our cardio poem block. I'm really eager to start. I got back from winter break and I had the most rested, most beautiful, well needed break that I deserved. And I just want to say I'm coming back an absolute academic weapon so without further ado i'm gonna bring you through a day in my life as a first year if you like this video at any point feel free to push that subscribe button i'm just going to introduce myself while i do my makeup i grew up in the suburbs of chicago i loved it there but then went to case western i played tennis there for all four years i was captain my fourth year i also was pretty heavily involved in a lot of service opportunities as well as greek life i applied to med school my junior year i ended up getting into a couple of schools and i was so happy and excited osu is actually my last interview really shocked to know that they interviewed so late in the cycle but when they interviewed me i was like this is the place i want to be i love it here i love the people vibes felt very chill i'm in a lecture hall right now with my boy shashank we are slamming through some anatomy content trying to be on top of it in the lab today one thing I love about my apartment complex is the coffee machine and all the snacks that they put out. I don't know what flavor those pop tarts are. Just wanted to shout out my beautiful baby boy Frito. Can you look over here? I'm leaving soon though. Frito. Big stretch. Big fall. We just finished our crash course. Now it's time to head over to the lab and just be utterly prepared. Yes, sir. Can't wait. Since today was the last day of anatomy, my lab group and I are going out for breakfast to celebrate. We completed the cardiopulm aspect for dissection for this block. Really looking forward to brunch with them. I'm freezing. I live pretty close to campus, honestly. I live like a 10 to 15 minute walk away. And I really like that the campus is pretty walkable and there's a lot of affordable housing in the area, as well as like nice apartment complexes as well. I don't always have to go to campus if I don't want to. Like some days if I want to stay at home and just study at home, I'm able to. OSU has more like flex scheduling, I would say, where we don't really have to go into class every single day. We have certain mandatory events during the week that we we have to go to post brunch headed back to campus to have my meeting with my portfolio coach who is a physician in emergency medicine i meet with her every single block we discuss personal goals and growth for this block and i'm looking forward to it currently finishing up this presentation this is the topic that we chose it's supposed to be quick because we're learning about ticks today <laughs> didn't expect that I made seventeen thousand dollars my first year as a resident. That was like so sweet. You know? <laughs> <laughs> kind of surprising. Maybe a little bit. Of heat waves are number one killer in this one. I thought that was interesting when we talked about in that video that agricultural workers were like twenty times more likely than any other job to die by heat wave and heat exhaustion. Hello. I went to the record-breaking twenty-seventh loss for the Detroit Pistons. Prettiest boy in the class. Look at Mitch. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm Angela. I'm a second year medical student and over the break, I spent a lot of time with my friends here in Ohio. Amazing. She wants to go back to California. I do. Send her back. Hi, my name is Diana, and over break, I did hot yoga. Stunning. Hot yoga. <laughs> Just came back from brunch with the dissection team. Came home, changed into some more comfortable, clean clothing, and I checked my mail, and I got my first ever, not really sponsored, but I guess kind of sponsored, merch. Look at this. Ohio gets the world, baby. Wrapping this the rest of the day. This is so sick, actually. Thank you so much, Ohio against the world. You are about to be up in this vlog. <laughs> I'm actually really excited for lunch today. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Salsa, maybe not so much. Gonna make some chicken tacos. Shout out Sam's Club. Eating good today. Got enjoy the journey mug. Chicken, loading that on taco shell, and then putting cheese in the lime sauce. Currently, I have been obsessed with the Arctic monkeys. I don't know what it is. I've 
probably listened to this song, this version, at least 10 to 15 times. And then this is just me checking my schedule for the week. As you can see, I have my TBL on Tuesday. And then one thing I love about being a cat mom is that you're constantly entertained. Cats are little weird boys. They're always doing something funky. As you can see, Fudo's just kicking around his mouse and his ribbon. It's really relaxing to have a cat just because you always feel like you have a companion during med school, during the tough times. You always have someone cuddling you at night. Currently on my way back to school to study with a friend on campus. It's raining out, I don't know if you can tell. Every time it rains, it reminds me of the one time when I was at Walmart with my little brother about to get an Ohio State umbrella. And he goes, don't get an umbrella, only weird people use umbrellas. So every time it rains, I show up dripping, but at least I'm not weird. <laughs> So one of the biggest things about being an M2 is preparing for step. Our last block host defense is actually pretty much focused on reviewing the concepts from the previous blocks, tying them in to host defense and all the bacteria and viral and stuff and tying all the blocks together so that when we go into dedicated, we're going to be well prepared for our step one exam. Even though it's past fail, it's really important that we study really hard because they've increase the number that you need to pass yeah m2 is a bit more different because we're more focused on preparing for our big exam and we get those two to three months of dedicated time to schedule our exam i really like that fact of m2 that you get that dedicated period to really just focus on preparing for step one and i also really like the fact that post defense does a good job of bringing all those concepts together Quick update it's around 4 50 p.m i finished all my new anki cards for today i am just about to read through usmle hit up some content that we're covering in lecture right now to kind of bridge the gaps from what our main lectures cover versus preparing for step also i'm in this nursing study room which is really nice it's good to change up the study scene okay so after doing all my anki and stuff i usually end up going to bed anytime between nine and like midnight that's usually like around the time that i end up sleeping we don't want to say hello she's hot he's purring he's so cute and then usually i like to like do anki while my boyfriend's doing something else so if he's watching the game like what we were doing on the weekend sometimes i'll be preparing for an exam but other times i'll also be bored not end up reading the current book i'm reading i just finished the seven husbands of evelyn hugo and now i'm gonna move on to this book really excited to read it reading helps me go to bed at night especially if i'm like stressed out thinking about like all the different things that i learned and trying to keep everything in my head i usually like to read to kind of clear my head and compartmentalize everything so yeah that's my day ish hope you guys enjoyed it feel free to reach out whenever i'm happy to give advice to literally anyone i love being a med student it has been a long day finally just touched on in bed about to pass out normally before bed i will watch some cody co reaction videos which always bring me so much joy I tend to reflect on the day all the positives that happen throughout the day and practice gratitude i'm really thankful for a lot of things in life and at the end of the day i always remind myself of that of where i am and where i've been in the past and how much life's changed i also talk to god during this time before bed so one of the best parts of the day and then just i'm gonna go to bed i'm so tired i'm about to pass out <laughs> thank you for tuning in if you like this video like subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you